Today we're going to review the procedure for solving equations that have unknowns in them. So let's begin here and just review the uh, steps first of all, the rules we use, we go through, and uh, algebra rules for solving equations. Number one, first thing we need to do is look for brackets and remove the brackets. So let's put the word brackets in here. Remove the brackets using the distributive property. So if you have a bracket, you get say something like x plus 2 inside, you got a number in front. How do you remove the brackets? You multiply, use the distributive property and you multiply each term inside the bracket by the number in front, the coefficient in front, and you get 3x, in this case plus 6. Okay, second rule, simplify. Simplify by uh, combining in other words, adding or subtracting the like terms on each side of the equal sign in the equation. So uh, that's pretty straightforward, I think. Number three, we'll, and we'll go through these with some examples in just a couple minutes here. Number three, make sure all variables are on the same side of the equal sign. So if you want to, you want to, if you got x's on both sides of the equal sign, we'll make sure on the same side of the equal sign. Generally speaking, we move them all to the left-hand side. Don't have to, but that's usually what we do. Um, next, number f okay. Uh, oh yeah, before I do that, though, number three, the only way to remove a term is to add or subtract it. When you move a term from one side to the other, you always add or subtract terms if it's a complete term. You never multiply or divide. Number four, remove the addition Okay, uh, or subtraction part of the equation first. So if you've got a uh, left-hand side, say if you had x's over there, and other terms, you isolate the term that has the variable in it by removing any other terms. In this case, again, you add or subtract them. Number five, isolate the variable using the inverse operations for multiplication and division. And we're going to go through all of these steps right away in these examples now. Okay, so example one. Well, first of all, I look at this example and I have uh, x's there, but it's on the right-hand side. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I personally like to have the x's on the left-hand side. And later on, this will pay off when you're doing inequalities, uh, solving inequalities. You want to have the x's on the left-hand side. Uh, and the same rules basically apply with inequalities as with equations. So let's just flip the whole equation around. We'll take and we'll flip sides here. We'll put the 3x plus 5 on the left side. And we'll put the 11 on the right side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to follow through the steps here. The first step is remove brackets. Well, there's no brackets to take care of. The second step, let's go back up here, move back, second, combine like terms. Well, there's no like terms on each side. Okay, there's, yep, yeah, no, each side is 3x plus 5, is two terms, but they're not like terms. We can't add those together. Next thing, we move all the variables to the same side. Well, there's only variables on the left-hand side, so we can't do step three either. Step four, though, we can do, it says remove the uh, you know, isolate the x three the term that has the x in it. Well, the, there's the three x there. We want to leave it by itself. So how do we get it by itself? You got to get rid of that five. So how do we get rid of a plus five? We always do the opposite, the inverse of what we're doing there. So the inverse of plus five is minus five. I'm minus five from both sides. What what happens then? And that's gone. The fives are gone on the left hand side. That's what I want to do. I want to get rid of uh, things from the left hand side. The x is all by itself. So I rewrite this. You have three x equals 11 minus 5 is 6 and now I want to get rid of that 3. It's the last thing I need to get rid of and, and what's it doing to the x? Well it's it's multiplying 3x there's nothing in between there that means multiply. So what's the opposite of multiplying? The inverse or opposite of multiplying is divide. So I'm going to divide by 3 but I have to do the same thing to both sides. So what happens is I can cancel those 3's out and I get x equals 2 as my final answer. 
Again, this is just review, so I'm going to quickly go through these. Uh, the next one, number two, is uh, okay, we've got uh, two terms. One, two terms, they're separated with a minus sign. What do I get rid of first? What do I do first? I want to get x all by itself. That's the goal. Isolate the x, get it by itself. Well, the first thing I do is step four, because the first three steps, I can't do those. They're not, not applicable here. But I get rid of that seven. I do the opposite of minus in seven, i plus seven. So I plus seven from this side. And then what happens in the, that means that's gone. The sevens are gone, and I got x over two equals five plus seven is 12. There we go. And now I've got rid of that too. I've almost got x by itself. There's just a two left there. What's the two doing to the x? It's dividing. It's a fraction like that. It means it's dividing. How do you get rid of that? You do the opposite of dividing. You multiply. So when I two over one, in other words, multiply by two. Well, the twos will cancel out then, and I get x equals 24. Again, there's my answer for the next question. Okay, we're just doing the opposite. We're basically doing steps four and five in those two questions. Okay, the next one. Hey, we've got a bracket. So step one says remove the brackets by doing the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply everything in there. 2x minus 6 there. The bracket's gone now since I multiplied it. Equals 4. Next step, get rid of the addition subtraction. So let's do that. That's uh, uh, plus 6. The opposite of minus 6 is plus 6. There we go. And so those are gone. We get 2x equals 10. How do we get rid of the 2? I divide by 2. Both sides. And I get those, those 2's cancel out, of course. And I get x equals 5. There we go. And that's number 3. Like I say, this is just review. It should be a review. Uh, let's take care of the next one. Well, there's no brackets in this one. And each side has two terms, but they're not like terms. So we can't add 5x plus 4. They're not like terms. One has an x, one doesn't. But now I do step 3. i got to take all the x's in the same size. So let's move the right side ones to the left. And how do I move them? I have to add or subtract. Well, that's a positive 3x. We've got a minus 3. Do the opposite of plus 3x is minus 3x. I do go over here to the same thing, put it with the other x's. Okay. And now we can take, and those are those are gone, right? And I got 5x minus 3x is going to be 2x with the plus 4 still equals, I got an 8 on the right hand side still. Which brings us to the next step. And this step here, we can just take rid of the 4 by doing the opposite. I'm minusing 4. The so 4s are gone. The 4 gone there. And I got 2x equals 4. And then lastly, I'm going to divide by 2 because the x is being multiplied by 2. So the opposite. And you get x equals 2. Good. Okay. A couple of little, maybe a little bit more challenging questions. Just a little bit more tricky, maybe. Well, first of all, brackets. That's always the first rule. There's a bracket there, so let's get rid of the bracket. I'm going to multiply this thing in front. It's 3 minus 2. I'm going to multiply that minus 2 times both of those things, so 3. Now, minus 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Watch the signs. Negative times negative is a positive. And that equals 17. Next rule. There we go. I'm going to, well, I'm going to join like terms. There's a 3 here and a 2 there. 3 plus 2, positive plus 2, is 5. 5 minus 2x equals 17. Now we need to get rid of that 5, because that's a term. That's uh, sitting out there. What's a positive 5? So I'm going to minus 5 to get rid of that. Is this a positive 5? The negative is, is on the 2x, so, so those are gone. I get negative 2x, that's what's left there, equals 12. 17 minus 5 is 12. Now we've got to get rid of that negative 2x. Don't, don't just drop the negative. We've got to remember that's there. I'm going to divide by negative 2. Don't forget, not just 2, but negative 2. So the negative 2 is gone. It gives me the positive x equals 
negative 6. There we go. Done. Last question. Okay, brackets. Let's do that first. Multiply this. 8x minus 12 equals, do the next one, 6x plus 10. Okay. Now, those terms are not like terms, so we got to go to step 3. Let's bring over the, let's take all the x's the same side, so minus 6x, put it with the other x's over here, minus 6x, same thing, those are gone. I got 2x minus 12 equals 10. Next step, I got to get rid of the 12. I'm going to isolate the x, so plus 12, which is opposite of minus 12, plus 12 over here, those are gone. I got 2x equals 22. Last step, wind it up here. Get rid of the times x is multiplied by 2. So divide by 2 to get rid of the 2 in front. And I get x equals 11. And we're done the review.